is not divi divided at all. And the reports about 70 MPs uh, signing a resolution and, and, and all that, they are not accurate at all. We had about 70 MPs, then later we got uh, the number reduced to 40 MPs, and uh, eventually the press conference was attended by 25 MPs. And uh, a lot of them, even at that event, were calling to assure me that uh, they were there to witness what was happening and uh, not necessarily associating themselves with uh, the move. And as I was leaving Accra, there were a couple of MPs who had called into media houses to dissociate themselves from the move, even though their names were in the list. So as a leader, I take full responsibility for the decision. I don't want anybody to blame anybody at all for that decision. I believe that I've done all the necessary consultation before taking that decision. The only group we did not consult was the caucus, the parliamentary group. And it is for good reason. If the exercise was going to be done after an election, then there is nobody in charge. You are now going to look for an identified talent for the new leadership. But if you are going to take a decision which will result in the removal of leadership, how are you going to call them and say, come and help me to remove you? <laughs> Nobody does that. We have about four swing regions in the country. If you lose those swing regions, you cannot win elections in Ghana. Western region is one of them. Greater Accra is one of them. Central region uh, is one of them. And then Brongahafo is also one of them. Um, Kofi Amabwa is uh, representing Western region. Um, Dr. Tufosin, Central region. Um, you have uh, Ahmed Ibrahim, and Bron region. And then Honorable Doyo Ganza representing Greater Accra. The leadership as far as regional balance is concerned is more balanced than it used uh, to be.